Hi everyone, uh, we're back. This is our um, last recorded video uh, to wow. you. So I know. So um, we just wanted to go ahead and start off today um, with uh, messages. And I just want to, um, I'll go ahead and start by just saying thank you to all of our students. And when I say our students, I'm talking about all three rosters and, and actually it's more than just three rosters that all came together for this. I don't really know if you guys all understand um, uh, what it was to bring all of all of our students from our rosters together and um, and how what a leap of faith and courage that was for us and um, and that you guys just walked with us and you and you took our lead and I'm, I'm really thankful and I'm sorry that all of this has gone down and I feel particularly sorry for um, the seniors that got gypped, um, but um, the truth is, it you know I'll never forget it, and I'll and, I, and we'll never forget each other. And I just wanted to say thank you to the students and 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 to my coworkers, um, Ms. Morales. I agree. It was really fun putting all of the students together and getting to know other people. Um, it was really fun. For, uh, for me joining Dr. Norton's classes because her students really like to chat. So when Dr. Norton was teaching, I got to chat with students in the chat box and I thought that was really engaging and fun and I think that you guys have super fun ideas. Uh, and I really like how students and teachers, we brought together our talents and our skills to sort of survive and help each other and continue to learn. Um, Dr. Norton has great vision and leadership skills and she's led a lot of our things and Miss Tinoco is like the backbone of these lessons. I don't know if you guys all realize but all of the history and context is being stabilized by Miss Tinoco in her history lessons. So I thought it was super cool and I hope this is a way of the future. Yeah, absolutely. It has been it's just been really special to get to work with so many students that we might have not otherwise gotten to work with, um, you know, this closely and on a weekly basis and to get to, you know, hear so many different thoughts and backgrounds and ideas. And um, I, I hope that, you know, this is something that, again, we can all learn from this experience. It's been a challenge. It's been, um, you know, it's been difficult, but through us kind of all coming together, I think as a class and as teachers, we've, I think, made, you know, the best experience that we possibly could have. And I'm, I'm very thankful for, for my co-teachers and, and their support and their guidance and for challenging me and for, you know, everything. So thanks guys. Now, when, um, when we are back at Verdugo, and we are, we are going to be back at Verdugo. I'm not sure that it's going to be on August 18th. Um, although school is starting August 18th. Um, but when we are back there and we are back in the halls, um, you guys, you guys know what we look like. <laughs> we know, always we have our faces. what you look like. <laughs> so please, please, please um, come and see us and come and say hi. Because, you know, sometimes I just know your name and, um, and I, and I don't really know who you are yet. And, and so please um, come and see us, seek us out, you know who we are. And, um, and let's just, um, you know, make some contact there. And, and that's going to happen. That energy is going to flow again. And um, anyway, that, that's what I wanted to say. And, and thank you, Ms. Morales. Thank you, um, Ms. Tinoco. And um, it, it, it's been good. Yay. All right. Let's go ready ahead. To get started? I think we're ready to get started. Start crying. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no crying. Okay, so um, I want to talk to you about how we're going to end, actually. And um, so, if we could go ahead and open up the the folder uh, in Schoology, and um, and I'd like everyone to kind of hear me here about dates. So. Um, we're at the end of the school year, and so we're gonna have a Zoom on June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. So that's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and you have to choose one of those. But as always, you can come to multiple. We have a handful of students mm -hmm. that come to multiple Zooms and, mm -hmm. um, and get their work done or contribute, and um, we know who you are. Um, 
Also, okay, so that's first, second, and third. We have an activity, just like we've been doing for the last several weeks, that is gonna tie into your final project. So Zoom on June one, two, and three, choose one of those. Then for the last week of school, which is um, June eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that's the last week of school. Our grades um, are due the morning of the 12th. And um, I want you to know that we're going to have two Zooms that week. I want to let you know ahead of time. And it's only going to be Tuesday and Wednesday, June 9th and June 10th. We'll be shouting that out on Remind to you and through Schoology. Um, so two days of Zoom and all three of us, uh, the, the three teachers, are going to be in every one of those Zooms. And that's going to be a time for us to, uh, for you to share your projects. Uh, if you're on my roster this week, we have digital portfolios as well on Wednesday and Thursday, like we've been doing, and uh, we'll do that in the final week as well. Um, so I want to show you in the folder, um, if you, let's see, we did the videos, you're watching this video, we have the Zoom assignment, and then um, we're going to go into the uh, project in one second. Uh, at the bottom there where you see reflection, um, course reflection and feedback, this is very important that you complete. You can complete it now at any time. You don't have to wait till the last day. Um, and it is uh, required. It's not hard. Um, and we definitely want to hear your feedback about the course and how, <clears throat> what we taught, how we did it. Um, and mostly it's about you, what you learned and what you think. So you can do that right inside of Schoology. And um, we look forward to sharing some of that feedback with you in that last week. Okay, anonymously, of course. Um, the one other thing I want to show you, um, I think that that is it. We're gonna go into the last thing. Anything you guys wanna talk about in the folder? Uh, I don't think so, that's no. it. Oh, it's pretty straightforward. I did wanna bring up the rubric for the project, but we could do that when we get to the project. Sure. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and transition now to the what we're calling the our final project, and uh, Ms. Morales and Ms. Tinoco are going to uh, lead you through this. Yeah, I can jump in, jump in here. So. Um, we had this idea of using uh, Time Magazine and an article that they have uh, published online, and it's called The Most Influential Images of All Time. And Time Magazine, of course, is um, a very famous old magazine that um, they are known for capturing some of the most um, impactful uh, historical images throughout time and these images actually date back well into the early 1800s i believe the first photograph from here is from about 1826 um, and then they go all the way up to uh, more modern photos um, but they have captured you know in this series in this collection um, you know some of the most important moments of the past you know 150 200 years um, and it's truly remarkable when you look at these images and how these photographers have um, captured a moment in time and how their images tell a story. Um, and they tell, you know, not only the story of the individual, but of the photographer of, of that moment. Um, and we thought that this was not only a great final project for um, you know, a, a term where we've been looking at history through decades and literature and art and videos and everything like that. Um, but it's also, you know, relevant in a time where we are looking at history and social justice being captured in the media today. Um, and so, you know, we felt that this was a, a really important, um, you know, article to share with students and it captures global issues, not just here in the United States, um, each story has, or each image has a story. Um, and some of them even have uh, videos as well that go along and it's the photographer telling the story of how the image was captured. Um, and so for students, they are going to be um, selecting an image um, and they will, you know, use that, that website to do their research. They'll select an image and paste it there. Um, then they will read uh, through, the, the, through the summary or the story of the 
the photograph and watch the video clips and create a summary. Um, they know, will though, send, yeah. Might they have to do extra research? Probably. If they pick a photo outside of the United States or outside yeah. of our time period. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So if students decide, there are many photos that come from the decades that we studied. And so some of them might seem familiar or might seem reminiscent of a time period that we've recently discussed. But if students are doing um, some of the older photos, um, you know, or maybe a photo mm -hmm. like this was a, this is an image actually was in a video, I think a couple weeks ago, right? We mm -hmm. talked about how famous this photograph was capturing, um, you know, the celebration of the end of World War II in Times Square in New York. Um, it, these are images that you might have to do additional research on depending on the image that you select. Um, you can do your, you can do your research. Um, I think we're going to, you know, Un unchain you and, and let you do some Google uh, research, but also you could go to the library databases um, and work inside there or um, go back into the folders. I might have to open those up for my students. Uh, go back in and see those PowerPoints that Ms. Tinoco uh, put together. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Yeah, maybe, maybe we could create even um, like a photo, like a, a whole resource folder with all of those. I love it. Good um, idea. Yeah. And then so it'll also ask you to kind of put the put the image within the context of the history that, you know, is it going on in the world around when and where was the photo taken? Um, you know, what events were happening, you know, during this time. Uh, there's several photos from around World War II era, from the Great Depression, from uh, Vietnam War. Uh, Sorry to interrupt. Um, originally, when we were talking about doing this project, we thought that you would have to stick within the decades that we've done in the 20s and the from the 20s through the 80s. And so you see on the slide on the recording that it says, you know, include detail about that decade. Mm -hmm. But actually, we've decided um, <laughs> to delete that. And you you have the freedom to choose whichever of these photos mm -hmm. that you want to choose. Yeah. Um, just make sure that you set it in the when and the where. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that you um, tell us what is going on. You're the expert and um, do whatever research you need to do to make sure that we understand what's happening, where in the world are we, when in the world are we. Mm -hmm. 